January 10th, 2023. That's right, we're still doing 2023 in 2023. Hello, I'm Bryce Castillo, your pre-show navigator, bringing you in and out, escorting you in and out of the green room. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Coming up, uh, we got uh, some stuff. We got some stuff. We got a game. We got a fun game. Uh, all the normal bits. Hey, by the way, on Friday, I just wanted to let you know, Friday, Marbles is back for season five. Five. And believe you me, I'm behind on getting stuff ready for it. But uh, tune in on Friday night here on Twitch.tv slash Night Attack for that. It's fun. It's so free. It's so easy. We love it. All right. I'm going to find out what is going on with our green room here. Let's give the green room a call and see how they're doing. Of course, you can support us anytime over at Patreon.com slash Great Night. If you do that, then you can get um, uh, then you can uh, get the big Patreon mega feed. Uh, you get everything all in one place. You get the bones, the bonus podcast uh, for uh, 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 every week. It's a lot of fun. Every week, it's a lot of fun. Every week, it's a lot of fun. So join us on the Patreon. Patreon.com slash right. Uh, green Room, can you hear me? A booty booty bass. Yeah, there we yeah, go. we can hear you. Perfect. Uh, we uh, can you hit the virtual camera for me? Sorry, I forgot to turn oh, it sure. on. Yeah, go uh, to yeah. OBS. Uh, OB OBS. Yeah. The, and then over Bottom there, right down. side of nope. no, 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 Cancel, no, 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 not that. No, yeah, no, no <laughs> virtual up, up, up one. There, there we go. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Right. hey, hey, we got that booty booty bass, boss. Thank you very much. Have a good dream room. All right, <clears throat> uh, man, I'm I'm kind of this is weird to say. I'm sad that it's so awesome, perfect weather because it's J January 10th, <laughs> which means that's not the time for awesome weather. That's the time for slightly colder than I would like weather. It makes no, me. No, this is kind of. Well, it already went through a phase of colder than you'd like weather. Yeah. And now it wasn't it long enough. And then, I don't know. I've, I've found that it's it's beginning of February where where shit really. It's the fan. Yeah, when did that hard wise. freeze happen? That was February. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. And then it did the same thing last year. Like every year that I've been around here, it's been the same thing. Like like December and January. Well, this year December was really fucking cold. Normally December is not that cold. That's right. We had we had one hard freeze that got down in the twenties. Yeah. 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 How, have have you found a replacement for dark sky yet? Dark skies. No. Uh, you know what? The uh, Apple app is allegedly supposed to take on all that stuff, but it doesn't have the layout that Dark Sky had, and it doesn't do the time machine or anything. Remind me of that when I come in. I got an answer for you. Do you okay. Know? Well, well, I, I was going to share the answer that that I I found, which is I I asked on Twitter mm. what you guys recommend, and um, uh, you, you know the Carrot Weather app. Carrot. Carrot. Yeah, I was just carrot. Say that one. Yeah. So so uh, um. They, they, uh, they basically, it, it's apps with character, basically. So you can set the level of snarkiness on this, uh, and uh, all the way from like short of curse words, or you can even activate curse words, okay. where where it's just like, <laughs> like for example, when it's cloudy, it says. You know, quit hiding, son. What are you afraid of? <laughs> you know, it's like, what are you, a big baby? Uh, and I actually don't get this joke. Oh, here we go. I could think, uh, here, 74 degrees, uh, clear skies tonight. It says, I could think of some creative ways for Noma's final dinner seating to outdo the menu. If I knew what the menu was, that would probably be a clever joke. I think it's a movie. Yes, but what happens in the menu? Is that like a gore movie or something? No, I think a bunch of rich people go to like a, 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 the, the bespoke of bespoke like restaurants. Yeah, well, because I know Noma is that one in uh, what, Copenhagen or Sweden or something? Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's shutting down. That's it's so like oh. like they're in the last two months. Of now it's bookings. like it's real asshole to elbows. Yeah, all the Copenhagenites are going wild. Yeah, trying to get into the Noma. Yeah, you guys uh, probably know better. Yeah, oh, it is in Copenhagen. I got it right. Look at that. 
We're we're the Copenhagen people. <laughs> Copen, Copenhagen. Well, I people. need to go to Noma. So, uh, but at any rate, it it looks a lot like uh, they use the same API as Dark Sky until they shut it down. But uh, but it it's just like Dark Sky, only it'll curse at you, or you could turn it off. You could turn off the cursing. Yeah, but, not the Dark Sky. But it was interesting because apparently, uh, whoever runs the social on the Carrot account on Twitter employs the voice of the carrot thing by being snarky to everyone. Yeah. Uh, for some reason, they were not snarky to me. <laughs> oh. Uh, I suspect it had something to do with a blue check mark yeah. and a number of and, followers. And a million followers, yeah. <laughs> Instead, they were just like this very earnest, like, if you DM me, I will give you a code. Would you yeah. like to try carrot? Yeah. <laughs> and and people started calling out whoever was running the carrot account, like, like That's what funny. the WTF, mate? <laughs> yeah, is, you're supposed to be an asshole. You, you were a nice guy. You were a real sweetheart. <laughs> Uh, yeah. The Dark Sky app is dead. Meatbags yeah. writes this uh, Twitter account. Uh, uh, it's great, though. Uh, I'm digging it. Yeah, I had another one. It was like My Radar that was a similar idea that uh, my mom was using for hurricanes because... It, to cause them? To spawn them? She likes to try hurricanes. Like, that's her... <laughs> as she gets older and uh, up there in years, she's... She's come to summoning. She's she's one with the Earth spirit. She's and, confused and about whether she's doing the Las Vegas uh, slot machine simulator or a weather app. Basically, like, come yeah. on, swirlies, give me the swirlies. She just basically <laughs> plays the 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 fucking Jerry Smith balloon popping app and uh, <laughs> and summons hurricanes. That's mostly what my mom does. But yeah, so my my radar. The only problem with these weather apps is like, just give me a fucking Apple. Can just. Charge me twenty dollars for the fucking dark sky app the way it was. Yeah, why like, did can they take I just that away give from you us? Just how much money do I need to give you? Yeah, just give me the fucking app. It was clean. It was fine. I liked it, and now it's gone. So they bought it to acquire the technology, but yeah. I guess they didn't like the competition or the perception that they didn't like people skipping over their own app. Mm. Similar to what they did with maps and having to. Well, it's it, it, that's all leadership, right? Like at some point you get brought on and you're like, we're gonna run it as two separate apps, and then eventually there's a reorg and a reorg and a reorg, and the founder leaves, and then they're like, we're just gonna fold it into our thing because yeah. that's what we're in the business of. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Whatever these fucking apps, man. I'm tired of these apps. These, apps, <laughs> yeah, these snap apps. Oh, hey, uh, Bonnie brought by. Have you seen these? I these have. Grax. Grax. Bonnie bought me for oh. Christmas. She bought me a whole bunch yeah, of bunch screen of printed grackles. grackles. We got to figure out where to put them in the green room. Uh, I think we were talking about grackles the other day. Here we go. We got this one here. Uh, Bonnie but they, dug but them. They all got, they're all different. They all have different characters to them. Yeah. And you get to, like good art, you get to project yourself into them. Like, I like that one. He's the sassy grack. <laughs> he said just Samantha. <laughs> he's he's the rebel grack. It's, this that one has a, a cigarette and a pair of dark sunglasses. Yeah. Um I think we're close enough that we can talk about the fact that we're close on world's greatest con. I'm gonna let you lead on this one because I've I've I I I, I am a very respectful co pilot on this. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have brought it up. Just just uh, 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 no, no, no. Well, I mean, it, we we can we can tip the fact that uh, you know what I, I I suspect we can even say where we're going to let people speculate. We've already said that we've gone to Las Vegas to record stuff. Yeah, like, well, we, we're we, going. Yeah, we, we posted that on the Patreon, and we're going to go to Las Vegas again after you uh, 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 fucking talk to your new best friend uh, William Shatner. The yeah. Shat. I got I got I got one of those. Um, uh, we'll talk about it more later. But I got one of those gentle messages that says hey uh, i know you're bringing a couple of friends just so you know before the show nobody's allowed backstage but after the show they can come and i'm like yeah i'm sure it'll be fine, mm, it's fine yeah. but then but then after that i got an email that says uh, uh uh mr shatner would like you to join him for dinner backstage would you select something from this menu and uh you know as you know i'm hardcore Salad machine. Yep. Right? I'm the salad shooter. Yep. Out of, out of my butt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, uh, and uh, Brian needs one whole head of iceberg lettuce, and yep. then bends over, grabs them <laughs> cheeks, and, and fires a cannonball. Fires. <laughs> it reassembles in my gut. Yeah. <laughs> and my distended anus yep. dilates, and, and then, it goes. Fum. And then a fat guy gets shot in the belly in slow motion. <laughs> 
<laughs> but the but anyway, I looked at the menu and I made it one item in, and I said, "I will have the ten ounce filet mignon, yes. <laughs> medium rare." No, yeah. No, that is that is that is the move. It's gonna be it's gonna be fucking amazing. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, oh, we also uh, there was also well, I, I'll save it for the show. We'll yeah. we'll do some some chapter chop. Uh, but after yeah. that, we are going to Vegas and we're gonna record the final. Probably, I mean, certainly the I would suspect unless there's some emergency stuff, the final field recordings. Yeah, of World's Greatest Con. We're still working on. The uh, final scripted episode, but I would say we are now probably about eighty percent done. Maybe even, maybe even a touch more. Well, and I don't think it's out of school to say, you know, since we're obviously interviewing somebody, um, mm-hmm. this was the week that, after working on it for, I think, I think we told people that we started back in September. Yeah, working on it for five months. Yeah, four, four months, five months. Um, we we. Found out whether or not they would approve. <laughs> yeah, which we, we we weren't like scheduled to like do it or not do it based on uh, uh, the feedback, but it was important because we are uh, uh, we do this is a this is a story that I think we both very much like and we very much want to tell right. Uh, and aside from fucking up a few names, uh, uh, <laughs> by and large, uh, it was it was really really great feedback, which was which was good to hear. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going crazy. But, how, how much uh, of, of your being willing to talk even this much has to do with the fact that you cracked the opening to episode four t- today? <laughs> 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 I, that's not, we were talking about this before, <laughs> before we went live. <laughs> Justin, uh, I I don't even tell Justin when something is good. I just take a picture of the hairs standing on end on my arm because it's unimpeachable proof that I was having a moment listening to it. Yeah. Uh, uh, And this is not about World's Greatest Con specifically. This is just in general. And I've talked about this a lot that like the way that I edit, the thing that cracked the idea of me being a podcast, a, a scripted podcast, audio editor and producer was unlocking a natural talent of mine, which was listening to other people's podcasts and knowing and what's saying, wrong with and them, saying they suck, yeah, and and then feeling feeling deep shame because it was my friend's podcast, and now I have to do this weird dance of like, okay, well, where are you in the process? Is this about to go out? Do you have time to work on it? And that now I feel like an asshole because they've made all these choices, and I'm gonna shit on them. That's a bad feeling. I can have a not only calorie free, I can I can build muscle <laughs> by making shitty versions of my own shit <laughs> and then listening to it and being like, well, this sucks. <laughs> this is fucking trash. Thank God I didn't share it with if anyone. It were, if it were me, I would do this, this, yeah. that, and the other. <laughs> Good news, me. I'm you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And so uh, uh, we did a garbage cut of the finale. <laughs> it sucked, <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, the the intro almost like popped into my head, fully formed, kind of fully formed. Well, I had an idea. It was initially it's it's scored to a song, and by the time that you hear it, you'll hear it. But like, it's uh, uh, initially it was moving out. Oh, okay. Initially, it was Billy Joel's moving out because I'm never more than three thoughts away from thinking about from Billy, Billy Joel. Joel. Yeah. Uh, and then no, I'm glad I, with what you. And went. then I googled. It takes place in a very specific period of time. I googled what because this is like another. By the way, I'm giving all, all of my hack fucking. Oh all, no, all, all of my hack audio production stuff. But like whenever, like whenever I'm looking to set a timer place, three things: the weather, <laughs> what the number one movie is, and what the number one song uh, is. Uh, you know what? Uh, it turns out the easiest tricks are the best. Yeah, <laughs> they work for a reason. Exactly. Right? <laughs> and so I, I looked up what the number one song was, and it was like, oh, this is fucking better. Yeah. Than uh, 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 the moving out, and it plays with other themes that show up in the show. And so uh, uh, I I just came to Brian, and normally, especially for the intros with World's Greatest Con. I, I really, through episode, or through season one, I kind of really stopped writing super scripted intros. Right. You, you, well, you would you would make sure I understood the general themes. You would make suggestions like, do you have a story that contains this feeling? Or yeah. do you have 
uh, and an insight about this thing or whatever. And then and then I, I would riff, and then uh, from that yeah. we would find some I think something. It's, it's because the 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 DNA of the show so much became your personality in those intros in the in season one that it's like okay, well we just need to keep coming to that. We need to give the audience a little bit of bry in in the first thing and so uh but this time i was like no you're oh, a, you're a, you're it was a, actually you're a, it was you're actually, a fucking you're a flute my friend it was really fun <laughs> it was really fun for you to explain this is what we're going for and then i would i would read it in the exact way that that you were describing it you're like no 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 I need a half step up on this. I need you to go with kind of a good building. I need you to hold something back because we're going to go down, down, down. And then we're going to come back. And, and, I mean, you were in full on. Remember when we went to the New World or Orchestra and, yes. and the conductor? You were that dude. Yes. <laughs> like, you were giving it to me. Yeah. It was great. No. Uh, uh, and then I edited it together and it was fucking, and it was good. And, and, uh, so now we just need to. Write the rest of the episode. Uh, uh, but I think most of, hey, we we know we're the beats. we're close. We're, yeah. I don't want to get yeah, into yeah. The, the, the the fucking loading bar, but like uh, uh, yeah, no. Part of the reason why I do want to talk about it is just because we're we're this one's been fucking hard, very hard. This uh, one this one's really 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 fucking hard, and I really hope that people like it. I I, I suspect that it will be of people's favorites because. There's a lot of fucking effort that's going into it. It's 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 a it's a story that's never been heard before. Uh, well, I, I think it's I think it's fair to say that you know uh, season one was us telling a big tale over a season. Uh, season two was an anthology of small tales in a low stakes arena, uh, and that was intentional so that we had were able to muscle for a lot of territory. Uh, uh, three sort of fell into our laps. It's it's original reporting. I mean, yeah, it's it's it's. Uh, and that that that's the z axis right so it's like we we had the one axis the two axis and then this is all uncharted territory and it's very difficult because it's a story that we want to get right for a lot of reasons and also just personally like we've been working on this shit since september right so that's what september october november december that's four months yeah right and then that includes scripting writing flying recording editing uh and then that runs into the holidays so that's all fucking slapdash yep. everybody's got a million things to do uh the last like two weeks since christmas got canceled has been non-stop oh yeah working on it and and now we are kind of at the end but to, I, to I, the I, disapproval I, I, I of both of our spouses <laughs> like both like bonnie was none too pleased to come come in here on callie's birthday party oh, yeah. and discover us working <laughs> which by the way i did not know i did not know I, that you I, had not cleared that with her I, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter yeah. yeah uh you said you said are you free and that is like yes sir <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah no it was happening no that was that was really uh uh so yeah no we we went and recorded that day yeah no and then i came back home edit all day and then ashley's like hey what do you what do you, what do you think tonight what kind of cool things do you want to do tonight and i'm like i get done editing and i'm fucking miserable because it's me editing a shitty version of the episode and i know it's a shitty version of the episode because the script sucked you were great but like the the script was bad They're like and this is the this is the process right uh and i'm just fucking pissed off because nothing's fucking worse than editing a <laughs> shitty episode like it because, is, because you have to finish it i have and you to. also know you're gonna set fire to it and I, well, it's just beyond it like it's just like i just get to the point where it's like why the fuck did I write this? This is <laughs> dog shit. This is fucking terrible. And then it's like, like, do I put like, like a little like, like on the dog shit part? Like when yeah, the dog like, is do, squatting, do, do, do you waste and, and, all and, your glitter and, and, on the shitting? It's like, 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 do I zoom in on his asshole? Like in audio? Like that's like, like it's the dumbest fucking thing, and I hate it. And then of course I have to. Yes. It's like I had to be like, yes, no, I'm gonna fucking. And then dress you have to. Then you have up. to sit down to your shit buffet. <laughs> your your grand. Well, no, 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 dinner. no. So this is what happens. So I go down to Ashley and I'm like, uh, uh, look. <laughs> You are, you have been extraordinarily patient. Uh, so I'm going to give you the option here. I am very fucking frustrated with what I've spent all my day doing. Uh, 
I can either at this moment right now disconnect from it, understand that this is the time for me to put it up on the shelf and I can, I can move on and we can do something tonight. Uh, or you can be patient one, for more, one more night, night. <laughs> while, I walk around, while I walk around and listen to this. And I suspect that when I come back, I will be in a much better mood because this is the process. The process is I listen to my shitty podcast right. and then I'm like, oh, okay, well, this is going to be the better way to go about it. And now I'll have all these amazing, cool plans of what to do going forward. And, uh, uh, I, I suspect for possibly the last time <laughs> she was like, just go take your fucking walk. Uh, I think, I think the way you phrased it to me was, uh, uh, Ashley has expressed that she's being patient. And I was like, Oh, well that, that that's good. And then you said, um, which means she's already been patient and has now reached the point that she feels the need to point out, to point out how that she's patient being she's patient. Being. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, but yeah, we are, we are close to the end. And uh, we told the patrons of World's Greatest Con that it'll be out end of Q1. Uh, there's no reason to say that that's not the case now. If, the if, only, if the it's only not th out, it's because uh, it's, it's somebody shit, offered us shit. money. Yeah, it's yeah, it's going to be money reasons. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <It'll> be, <laughs> it won't be because we, we we haven't finished it or or promotional reasons or opportunity. You know, like bookings. Like you know, I don't know, man. This shit this shit's good enough that that. Like once it's done, like we've always talked about trying to lean on the Joe Rogan coupon because I I feel like I got two and a half hours of stories in me and fucking that'd be dope. I mean, you you can you can go ahead. And, you go. I, I, I don't, that I don't, sounds I don't, like promotion job. Yeah, I, don't, I don't I don't know where you keep that coupon, but uh, <laughs> uh, I would encourage you to use it. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. No, I would I would say it's it's. Uh, uh, it's really fucking good, and people are really going to like it, uh, whether or not you are aware of the subject matter or not. Uh, it's it's never been told before. Uh, uh, there's no World's Greatest Con delay. Like, all right, this is, this is the reality of it. The show is fucking good, and it's good on a level that either of us have had a podcast. Ne neither of us before. have. have, have um, I, I, I told you I've been you know reading that Beastie Boys book, and uh, uh, it, it feels so much like we're – we're creating albums, you know, just, yeah. you know, uh, not as fast as we'd like, but goddamn, if we don't love every single bit of all of them for different reasons. Yeah. Uh, uh, and, and this, this is, this, this is the best. This is our check your head. This, well, this is, this is, and then yeah. it's really fucking good. Uh, 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 I, I would say though, in terms of the release, this is hit on a level, the show in general, world's greatest con is hit on a level that now we're playing with numbers. We're advertising, matters yeah like, like oh, uh, we, we need uh, a six real quick uh, el condor pasta 69 um uh, uh asks but this one episode being edited is bad no 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 no. Uh, it's being created and anything being created has to be bad before it becomes good that's yeah capital this, t capital p is, the is, process I, I don't know if i if i'm crazy with this or this is something that is done oh, no, no, in the, audio the, all over the place but like i can't edit a podcast on the page i cannot edit a script. Nor, nor like, should you, because you know uh, everything that's needs going to, be to come out in, in a very yeah. elementary, sing-songy way, and that's fine for week over week stuff, right? You can either speak extemporaneously and keeps all the keep all the semantic crutches, the ands, the ums, and all that stuff, or do kind of high flying, uh, erratic content like we do on Great Night, where sometimes we kiss the butthole of God, and other times, you know, we shit the bed. Butthole talk. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you're gonna kiss any part of God. I, yeah, well, I mean, like that'd be the best part. Like, I kiss but, God on the lips, <laughs> boring. Yeah. But, um, uh, but uh, when it comes to what we're aiming, what we're striving for, essentially creating a hardcore history level audiobook, that means that means a lot of extemporaneous takes. That means a lot of filtering, a lot of polish, a lot of chrome, uh, because we want to sweep people in. And well, but but even. That that yes, all of that. Uh, also, it's the it's breaking the story, right? Like like I I can't I can edit an essay and I can tell you how the essay should flow on the page where you're reading it, but I I it is a fundamentally different animal to go from a you know a, a podcast transcript doesn't read great as an essay right. an essay 
Red does not read particularly great as a podcast. You need to listen to the podcast and then be like, oh, well, what if the ending was the beginning? What if there was a thing that, like, what matters the most? What, like, there, there's a visceral element to podcasting where you feel, especially when we're talking about, like, extremes. We're talking about people living and dying and going broke and getting rich and, and the fate of the free world in the first season. Like, you have to pay attention to the moments that matter and then wrap the entire fucking episode around right. the moment that matters the most. And it's like, that just doesn't happen in an essay. An essay is more of a linear kind of thing. And so it's like, uh, and, and I don't know whether or not that's that's unique or or anything. Because I, I, I mean, I, it's uh, if, if you move it to a different format, like let's say stand-up comedy, no stand-up special is being performed for the first time <laughs> When it's recorded, right? Yeah. That that shit goes through the process of a year of trying shit out in clubs and then figuring out like, oh wait, that extra tendril doesn't need to be there. Oh wait, what's the real? Oh, you know what? This really isn't a joke about vampires giving blowjobs. It's really a joke about androids getting butt fucked. And I also wonder though, it's like, uh, you know, and I'll just use this example because you're you you were uh, uh, going to interview him in Lubbock this Friday. Tickets still available. Uh, William, William Shatner, Shatner tour. live or tour. Yeah. Sorry, fuck, I fucked that up. Uh, but let's say like like William Shatner was like, oh, I met Brian and I listened to his World's Greatest Con podcast and it's amazing. I've got a million stories. I'd love to talk about horses and I'm going to do the world's greatest horse with William Shatner. <laughs> and it's like, I want to do the same production that you do. Like, does it make sense for me to be like, hey, here's some shit I wrote high last night. Read it. It's going to suck. Because <laughs> that's what happens here. And it, and it makes <laughs> and it makes for a good show. But like, but like, I don't know. I don't know if that would work beyond us. I mean, uh, uh, only one way to find out. <laughs> I'm going to say, listen, I got a pitch for you, William Shatner. <laughs> I do a show about world's greatest cons. Hey, Shat, I heard you like horses. <laughs> Yeah, that's a fact. Do you like sound? <laughs> Do you like the sound of horses? <laughs> World's greatest horse. Seven feet tall. Uh, uh, like I was talking to... Uh, 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 oh, no, wait. This is, this is way too out of school. I can't tell the story. Okay. Uh, can you hint to me? I... Uh, uh, all right, fuck it. Whatever. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, uh, so one one of the things that we, we we really really feel strongly about this season, and we think that it could be a narrative movie, uh, because that is I think the the way that these I mean, things that, that's, tend to that's go. how we're telling it as though it's already a movie that we're describing, and and, and we did that with with you know all of our yeah. I mean, even so far as to going uh, meta in season two and being like and no pitching, we're literally, we're literally pitching just a movie. pitching a movie the liar uh, man <laughs> uh, hey Brett but, uh, hey Brett. But anyway, I was talking to somebody, and uh, they were like, uh, uh, oh, well, you should pitch it as a movie. I'm like, oh, yeah. And so we're talking about different ways that we would do it. And it's like, like I have no idea how this is going to work out. Like, I don't know if we talk to somebody, and then they are so excited about it that they're just like, like uh, uh, hey, Jason Bloom, <laughs> it's your cousin Marvin. You know that new movie you're looking for? Well, listen to this. And then he just holds his phone up <laughs> for five hours. Yeah, for five hours. <laughs> Jason Bloom's on the other end. Like, uh-huh. Oh, uh-huh. Oh, oh, the liar man, huh? <laughs> uh, so Brett discovered uh, my sack. Uh, which, fondling it. Uh, do, do, do you know the story behind this sack? No. Uh, I noticed that you're not tossing it over here. Okay, it, it's fun to hold, isn't it? Yes. It's so, a good one. Uh, oh Jesus, this one's this one's bright. <laughs> Sorry, uh, no, uh, I'm that's... talking about two different things. Okay, oh, yeah. no, 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 we'll talk so about that sack on stage. Is, yeah. The sack, sack is first. Right. Sack yeah. first. Sack, sack it up. So, yeah. so uh, uh, Justin, I, I, I wanted to bring this bit back, uh, which, which was a long-standing thing that was normally done only live. But now that we're in the same city, we can, we can do it live on stage. Um, uh, how, how do you sum up the story? Because I remember it was Peach. It was the weekend of the Peach. Peach, peach weekend. We were going to see Harmontown, right? Yeah. In, uh, in uh, SF. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, we decided that uh, uh, Harmontown at 8, well, let's start making our way there at 2. Oh, okay. <laughs> but if we're going to start making our way there at 2, there's a few stops we got to make sure <laughs> to drink. I was going to say, this is going on to our conversation yeah, from before. Exactly. Like, wow, so, we take a lot of time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, and so we 
We're just sitting at this bar. We got fucking hours to kill. We're literally yes. just going to be drinking all day. And so we we come up with this idea of watching a random football game, and we're just betting on everything. This is something I, I heard Hunter S. Thompson used to do. Hunter S. Thompson was such a gambling addict. It was, he was so such an action junkie that he would just bet on, like, whether the next play would be a run or a pass. Oh, okay. Whether or not the first commercial would be for uh, a, a laundry detergent or a car or something like that. And so we just start doing that, and we're just... We just we and, each, and we each get we what? figure out real quick that it's more interesting to make it about the people around us where it's like her she from west of the Mississippi or east from the Mississippi yeah is she is she local or or whatever and then we would ask them call them over and it was always a dollar bet right was, yeah was the game uh, and and if we did it right we ended up with about the same amount of money that we began with but uh, but then I think we were talking about on night attack at the time mm -hmm. how how cool it would be if we instead of you doing dollar bills had dollar coins and uh and it had a, like a leather sack we were joking about like in uh medieval sack. times and, and uh and then sure enough uh sure well, enough the sack the sack showed up and then brian filled him with sacagaweas yeah so it's a sacagaweas <laughs> yeah so yeah. i bought like 200 dollars of susan b anthony's and mm -hmm. sacagaweas or whatever and so uh justin has a matching sack yeah um oh some, somebody in the chat probably knows the name of our leatherworking friend from the tadpool um, who made these. Yes. Uh, because I can't access do. that name right now. But anyway, uh, that shit is dope. Walk yeah. it in and then, and then gambling with that money in front of the bartender. And then uh, unfortunately that means you have to leave a generous portion of it as a tip yeah. <laughs> to deal with your shit. Yeah. You got to slide, you got to slide some over, but usually we're, 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 we're good trouble for bartenders. Oh yeah. Like, yeah. We're very rarely, uh, the, the, uh, Outlandish, rose. boorish, boorish, yes, the snoots. Uh, you know, I used you as an example. Uh oh, in a board meeting yesterday. Uh, okay, uh, uh, an example. Uh, oh, let me guess. Uh, uh, uh big dick, <laughs> <laughs> the living piece let of me shit. Tell, let me tell you like about a man with a big Does dick. Does anyone have an Brian. example of a living piece of one, garbage? One, one time I tried to walk by him, and it felt like trying to maneuver past a punching bag at a boxing gym, <laughs> like a body bag. Is anyone ashamed of any of their friends? Any examples of a friend you're ashamed of? It's a weird board meeting. <laughs> Very weird. Let's <laughs> open up the floor. Linda, take the minutes. <laughs> <laughs> the question was, uh, because the theater, Pinfold Theater, that I'm uh, on the board of, mm -hmm. we are trying to find a permanent home. We've been traveling all around the city, uh, and so that's been an issue. Just uh, renting out, like, random theaters, warehouses or, or theaters. And, okay. and warehouses, yeah. too. It's like whatever the... the whatever will show. serve as the black box. Yeah. And uh, which has been great, but we haven't been able to build audience and they were trying Cause, to Because they out, keep showing up, and they're like, where did well, you go? Yeah. Yeah. You keep ghosting your own yeah, crew. Exactly. Yeah. And so uh, it ends up that we're coming to a conclusion of maybe going one place while the other place is being set up. Mm -hmm. And they were worried because one is in Round Rock and the other one is in Austin, which it's not that far. Yeah, but not that far. It's not that far, but they're thinking the audience wouldn't go with us right and so i said i think that we should go to the one place in austin and do the thing what i'm excited about is we're going to take root we're going to be planting oh there it is we're going to i said and my friend brian brushwood told me about this that we're going to be doing planting and from then when it's time to harvest is when we move that's right to the other place yeah and we tell everybody you think this is great Here's the countdown to the other place that we're going to go to. Uh, and yes. And we're going to pull that audience over there. And they're like, who is this fellow? I go, he's a fucking ass. Yeah. <laughs> he's a living piece of human <laughs> garbage. Yeah. yeah. He, he shoots lettuce heads out of his ass <laughs> into fat dude's stomachs. In slow motion. In slow motion. <laughs> In slow motion. Uh, I love that idea, mostly because the audience that you build in Round Rock, the moment that you're like, anyway, our new home is in Austin. If you hear any groans, just be like, that's what all your friends think when you have a party. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. You've earned this, Round Rock. Yes. You make everybody go to you. God, I gotta oh. go to a fucking Round Rock. 
I mean, north of the river is bad enough, but Christ. Oh, come on. You've you're, never you're, been to my house. Neither one of you have been to my house. No. Oh. You know why? Because hey! I don't. I don't have time to drive That's to Waco. Right. <laughs> That's right. Bryce has been to my house. Really? Yeah. I have. We did a Bones. Just he and I. Yep. What? In my studio. When? At, the, at the house. When oh, was yeah. that? Yeah. That uh, was, you were out of town and you were doing, you got busy with something. Yeah. yeah. So we that sounds right. Doing, doing the Bones. Just the two of us. It, it was, was great. Fun. It was yeah. a blast. Yep. They got a great. A great spot. It's not that far. It's not that far. It's not even that far. Just off the freeway. Okay. Well, you used to drive down from Lakeway, though, right? Oh, yeah. I used to. I uh, Yeah. I lived at the, the edge, the north edge of town. Right. That was far. That was far. Yeah. Okay. So it's less far than Lakeway. It's way less far. How far yeah. did you used to drive? How far is Lakeway? Uh, I want. It's, it's been like a while, but 40 to 60 four, minutes. Yeah, four, yeah. What yeah. the yeah. fuck? And that's without traffic. Yeah. And that was on this, these fucking off hours that yeah. we fucking right. do. And it's 30 minutes. Uh, my house from here. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> people do that. I, I did that. What? Part of how, how quickly he is split. Yeah. Didn't you live in L.A.? Well, part of it no. is no, oh. we didn't. Part okay. of it is I that, lived in the Bay Area. Okay, uh, uh, but I haven't had a normal person <laughs> okay. in a very <laughs> long time. Okay, okay. <laughs> but part of it is that I moved down here. I came down here before I moved first. Yes, I yeah. brought all my shit down here, yeah. and so I thought, oh, this is in my price range. I'll just. Here, because I don't know where I'll just commute, or, where anything right. is. Right. I'll just um, take the train. Yeah, and it just ended up <laughs> <laughs> way, way out of town. Well, and and that that was also in the very very early days when uh, uh when <laughs> Bryce just told me I moved here, and I was like, oh. I, I hope it's not because you thought I had a job for you. <laughs> <laughs> I said, e he, I, I sent a follow up email. So I was like, hey, just so you know, we talked about it. Hey, you're still you catching up. <laughs> and you're like, oh. <laughs> In, yeah, but that's a good primer for working with Brian. Mm -hmm. Like if you if you for if sure. you if you can't God, handle that, God. <laughs> it's, 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 <laughs> turning into a roast. That, that and all the lettuce heads. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, well, number one, you 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 deflected the compliment. You could <laughs> yeah, you yeah. Could, you, you, like, well, just go the other way. Yeah, yeah. You you, you couldn't shovel me off. You having a gigantic <laughs> dick fast <laughs> enough. <laughs> so now I'll just honor. I'll go to the other end yeah, of the buffet. Okay. <laughs> Using him as a barometer. So yeah. where where where, where, where are we going? Yeah. You want compliments? Just right. Yeah. Can I share? Can I share some words of wisdom? Please. Yeah. Sure. I saw some words of wisdom the other day, and it actually helped me out. There's not really a punchline to this, unfortunately. That's okay. okay. Oh, it's fine. We'll write one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I live alone. I'm a bachelor. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I, and sometimes yeah. it's easy to get real comfortable, let stuff pile up. Mm. Yep. And sink. Maybe yep. in the sink. Yep. Maybe mm -hmm. in the sink. Mm-hmm. Uh, I saw a very good TikTok the other day that said, hey, cleaning up is giving yourself a gift. Yes. Yes. Giving yourself a clean space. And, and that, uh, you know, uh, I, I, that, that's sort of how I've been feeling eating all these goddamn salads. Uh, that, I mean, that's exactly how I feel is, is like, is like, hey, man, future me is going to love this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. C current, current me, not, not so much a fan. My, my, yeah. my uh, mom always taught me that. It's like, hey, yeah. before you go on vacation, clean up your house. So then when you get and make your bed, because when you get home, you'll be like, oh, so yeah. that's what EK is doing right now. Cleaning your bed. She's cleaning. <laughs> she's, she, she better be cleaning that house. Yeah. Oh, wow. oh. oh no. Because we're leaving tomorrow for Alabama. For Alabama. Yep. Uh, what part? Uh, Huntsville. Oh, uh, uh, northern. You, you ever go visit the, the is it the Goddard Space Center up there? Uh, uh, EK's father. Is a is Goddard. He is Goddard. <laughs> he was he was God a, Goddard. Goddard. He was a rocket scientist. No kidding. Oh, yeah, wow. at, I, at, at NASA. So uh, when I was a kid, in going into seventh grade, I went, went to, spa to space. I went camp. to space camp. Yeah, but but because I was space camp and not sca space academy, I didn't get to do the crazy, the fun, uh, twirly around thing. You know, yeah, where the vomit com or not the vomit comic, but yeah, the yeah, the multi-axis spinny thing. Sure. Uh, but then, uh, like uh, I don't know, maybe seven years ago, I had a, a college show there. Maybe, maybe yeah, eight years. Uh, I had a college show uh, at the the uh, University of Alabama. Uh, in Huntsville, mm -hmm. and um, uh, the guy, his wife worked at the place, so we went did the full tour. They're like, "You want to get on the thingy?" I'm like, "You're goddamn right, I do." Did you have a full stomach? Uh, oh yeah. Well, the 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 trick to it is is that um, uh, the reason you get nauseous is the uh, the hairs uh, 
that you use for stabilization in your inner ear, they, they fold down. The only way they could do that is if you make more than one lap going the same way. With those three different axes, you're never going the same way once. So you so never, you never, out. yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So you never really get any motion sickness. Uh -huh. yeah, do you know the things we're talking about where it's like you, you strap in yeah. Yeah. and you're standing up? Yeah. The gyro three circles. Yeah. Yeah. Thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're a desk toy. <laughs> the thing you like have no. at, at theme parks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it was just right after that Brian got off that machine. Man in a high and tight haircut, shoulders back, came over, full fucking military dress, said, stuck out his hand. Brian shook it, says, we hear that you got the biggest dick in America. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, oh, gee, shucks. Oh, jeez, I'm yeah. a piece yeah. of human garbage. Oh, oh no. <laughs> As his, as his shy dick started curling around <laughs> in his leg. Coming out of the, the shorts. You've heard of showers and growers, but now hiders. <laughs> yeah, it goes the other way. Yeah. <laughs> mm. uh, so, so you're going to Huntsville. Is this yeah. a family gathering? Yep, it's a belated uh, Christmas. Ah. Oh, yeah, because you guys didn't go because of no, the... No, it's an early race, Christmas. Right? Yeah, very, January, very early sure. Christmas. But for us, it's late because we didn't really... Enjoy you Christmas. didn't really want to take the bid on that joke. No. <laughs> Sorry. Instead, I was like, just correct him. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah, it's very early, oh, yeah. and I didn't get it. Gregorian present. calendar. I I, <laughs> it's, it's Jewish Christmas. Fucking great. <laughs> Jewish Christmas. I was, I was doing, so we're doing a, a, a history quiz coming up on the show, mm -hmm. Radio Tease. And I, I read up a little bit on January, just like the month of January. Yeah. Enero. Did you know the Romans didn't consider winter a month? We That's didn't, why they kept we, we, didn't winter, consider. I month? don't consider winter a month either. They wouldn't. No, they didn't classify a month for the winter for period. Winter. Oh, it was like month, month, month. This dumb this is shit. Just winter. It was and just then and winter. Then, and then as soon as it was oh, hot again, got it. Spring, like, yeah. Okay, be, because they're not having to plant or do and anything. Also, be, yeah, and partly because their calendar had like 316 days or something. Right. But they, so they, they got said, all that free so time. They had like just, you know? just, yeah. just a gray area labeled fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. Like only, yeah. only the U was like a V because it was Romans. That's right. <laughs> That's exactly correct. Yes. Okay. <laughs> just say it's really fucking cold. Okay, let's just take a knee for a while. We'll but, it's, just... but it's really interesting that that. They just would decide it. Just the calendar is this now. Now there's March. Now there's March, Brett. Yay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The news, now there's March. There's March now. <laughs> I've heard that they're talking about like giving up the leap second or something. They like, will. Why? Like because it costs too much to fix. So now they're saying we will fix it when there's a leap minute. Got yeah. it. Okay, just let it build up. So kind, of, kind of like those dishes, leap, those time dishes in the, in the space sink. That's right. They're giving a gift to them. Father Time is going to get a gift in about 10,000 years. So You know what? Why not get in front of it? Let's just go forward a minute right now. <laughs> we'll wait. That way we're never going into debt. We'll Father 10 minutes. Time. We'll be good forever. Yes, yeah. Sir. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> Bang it out. That's the rest of the lifetime. We got this. <laughs> but all, all of a sudden, GPS coordinates all shift because of it. But I I feel like I don't know is the calendar done changing? Are we gonna stick with the calendar? Are we so. over the calendar? <laughs> we asked Dua Lipa. <laughs> Dua Lipa. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I don't know. Fuck if I know. I mean, I mean, I would imagine it's sort of like the rhythm of having three meals a day, give or take, right? It's like uh, yes, it might make more sense to snack throughout the entire day, but but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know culturally that's that's a big pivot. I, I don't see us giving up months and holidays and all that stuff. Maybe not fundamentally, but we do have some weirdness with the calendar, right? We've got the 28, 30, 31 days thing. Yeah. yeah. And that's even like not evenly distributed, you know? Yeah. I've, I don't know. I could see someone saying like, hey, I'm the God King now. <laughs> I'm saying that there's a 14th month. I would like to go into a feral time phase. Like yeah. myself, like the only problem is, is that to do that, you kind of have to be away from people. Yeah. And I don't like doing that. Doesn't if, I, if, if, if I could just not deal with time and just do whatever I wanted, yeah. uh, like, like exactly when I wanted and have no pressures for when shit was to, like to be delivered. I would like to do it, but I'd also like to hang out with people. <laughs> and unfortunately, <laughs> the only way to do that with other people is to start a cult. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, uh, th there was. Or you have uh, to make your own society. Yeah. Civilization. 
I, culture I, yeah. all over again. I think but it that's was... yeah, it's a and it starts as a cult, right? A civilization is just a very ambitious cult that succeeded. You right. can't smell culture without cult. Exactly. Uh, oh, I was just I, I was going to bring up. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard about. I think it was Swatch that brought up the idea of like. Fuck time. Mm. There's now a thousand beats in a day. Beats. And it's universal. And whatever your local thing is, you decide what beat you want to wake up at. <laughs> it's because they had shitty watches. That's it, really all it is. Well, I, I, but also it was like Shots an effort. To, it was an effort to bring kind of a metric system to time. And uh, in the 90s. Was it an effort? Because it does sound like a very good advertising campaign that we are still talking about. To yeah. This day. Uh, yeah. What, what, had you guys heard of it? Nope. Before? nope. Okay. okay. Brant, you Brant, Brant is a huge fan of Swatch Time. He uh, loves oh, beats. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, I would say that's less the case and more Brant is just not a fan of the sun. <laughs> <laughs> like the sun comes up and he's like, oh dear, back I go. Sure. <laughs> I'm going to go get Swiss time now. They don't use the sun. They use. <laughs> Brant, Brant wakes up and just sees one yeah. ray peeking out and just like, goes, no. Again. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> one day. He'll figure it out one day. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, uh, we I, we like, have like, talked about this before on the Weird Things podcast, but mm -hmm. but in the uh, the Mars trilogy, uh, Martian time is like twenty four hours and twenty minutes, and so th th in the fictitious culture, they just had like the clock hit midnight, and then it just went, uh, it paused, and then another number came and counted twenty minutes, and then it went back to. So it, they called it the time slip, which I thought was a cool idea. Mm. We could just do that now. Just figure out, take, rack up all them leap seconds. Yeah. Well, like so, someone in the chat earlier said, like, why don't we take some of the 31 day months, make them 30 day months, I and mean, then we take the 28 day month and we make it 30. And now the calendar's looking. Why don't, now that's looking well, hey, why, why, why why don't you give me your kidney? I mean, you got two of them. Why don't, why don't we have time <laughs> inflation? Hungry. Yeah. We have money inflation. Let's have time inflation. Things yep. should take longer or shorter. No, just more days. Like, so, like, is right, January of... is like, like, how many days is January? 31. Goodness gracious. 31. 30 days has September, April, June, and November. Yeah. Yep. And then there's February. Mm hmm. Yeah. Everything else is 31. Yep. And so 31 days, and then you just go, I don't know. Now there's a 30 second. Say, says just who? the Fed opens says up who? and says, Me. hey, it's the 30 second day today. <laughs> the time, the calendar the time, Fed opens time up. inflation, man. Well, you know, you know what would be great is if, like, uh, you just get another day. Is, Boom. Hold on. All the months can, like, borrow. Only from December. It's like, okay, you can have an extra day, but we're taking it from December. And then <laughs> And so, if we and if December twenty fifth's gone, Christmas is canceled. That's it. <laughs> right? But that's right. so then then Thanksgiving becomes like the very like it's Thanksgiving two days and then Christmas. No, it's canceled. If they get rid of it, oh, I'm saying, I mean, well, I, I, I mean, if we cross that barrier, that that'll be yeah. like you know, the world has shut down because we mm -hmm. can't argue. People want to borrow against December again, mm -hmm. but, but now we don't have Christmas. I need, dude. Rand shoes. Paul would be so heated about that. <laughs> Rand Paul would just against be, it. Yeah. Oh, I don't know, but he'd I be know heated. He'd be, I know he'd be he, pissed. Whatever. Yeah. He said. He'd be all yeah. like, "Punch me in my ribs." <laughs> Did he do that a lot? Only oh, no. once. Yeah, he got into a fight with his neighbor. Not, he got over his, bushes. He got he got his, yeah, he got his shit kicked in, and then he had Five to go to the to hospital. Thank you. <laughs> Which, but I still don't buy whatever. Like the official story is that it was about politics. Nobody fucking fights no. like that about oh, no, politics. I, it was it was about him cutting his bushes or something, and the neighbor I didn't like. Don't it. buy it. Okay, all right. The, not people, fooled. People only get Check, fought, not fooled. People only fight Justin. like that for two reasons: money and pussy. Like that's, <laughs> <laughs> nobody gets broken ribs over fucking hedges. I don't know. Somebody, I've had some somebody, really shitty neighbors. Somebody, before. somebody owed somebody money. No, if you have a shitty neighbor and they're really pissed off about your bushes, they might call the cops. They might threaten you. They might scream. They might yell. They might key your car. There's a lot of things that, that an unhinged motherfucker will do if you're trimming the bushes the wrong way. If you stuck your dick where you're not supposed to, That's true. or you are owed a significant amount Fight of money, on side. then it's like, I need to break this dude's ribs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. All right, Dr. More, more uh, conspiracy theories <laughs> from the gerbs. Oh, no. I, I, you should carve out, uh, in all your infinite free time, another yeah. program where you focus just on conspiracy theories. Just on mm -hmm. the conspiracy theories. Mm -hmm. I like conspiracy theories. They're, we'll call it weird fun. things. 
Knock it off. We all fought it, only one of us said it, and that's not a prize for you. <laughs> all right, uh, ground control. Can, uh, can you can you land this uh, ship of dreams? Uh, indeed, we will. Thank you to the green room, and welcome back, everybody, to the pre-show for the Great Night Program. Thank you, green room. Uh, this is uh, the pre-show. Thank you again to everyone who supports us over at Patreon. Patreon.com slash Great Night is where you can go to do that. Um, support us there. Get get the Patreon. Get the bones. Get all sorts of extras and good stuff there. So make sure you check it out. Patreon.com slash Great Night. Time to do a little bit of birthday border in. This is the part of the show where we go to our Discord. Discord. Dot, turn that off. Discord.GreatNight.TV. Get uh, 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 we'll get some shout outs for all of the folks who go to our birthday borner channel, and then uh, and then they say and then they and then they say that their birthday is, is that day. Uh, let's see here, what have we got in the birthday borner hopper today? I don't know. If we've, oh, here we go. Russell Burry's uh, Russell Burry's birthday, a uh, Brussel birthday was uh, yesterday, Monday the 9th. Happy birthday, Brussel Berry. We also do have some celebrity birthdays. I know this for reasons. Um, oh no, did I write over it? <sighs> oh no, oh no, I, 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 oh shoot. Okay, well, it's also um, Jermaine Clement's birthday, Rod Stewart's birthday, and Eric Kushner's birthday. Uh, there you go. Uh, if you want to get a birthday shout out here in the birthday corner, go to the Discord, discord.greatnight.tv. It's fun, it's free, it's a great community chat place. Uh, and join, uh, just let us know in the birthday corner. It'll look blank because you can't see everybody else's birthdays, uh, but it is not. Hello, everybody, thank you so much for joining me here. We got a few more minutes before we get started with the program. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about speedy cars. Can we talk about fast cars for a little bit? Uh, uh, the, the F1 season is only a few months away. We're going to start preseason testing in Bahrain, uh, not too long and not, in not, not too long from now, uh, in, in, I want to say a couple of months, a couple of things that we're going to keep an eye out for on the paddock, uh, include this news that broke, uh, over the week, uh, Andretti, Andretti Motorsport, we've talked about, um, uh, in the previous season about wanting to get in. Hey, we want to get in on, we want to be a Formula One team. We are this storied motorsports team. Uh, and my father was in Formula One, by the way. Uh, and then it came out last week that uh, Mohammed bin Slayem, the FIA president said, "We, I have instructed my, my people to create a, a pathway. What is it? A uh, expressions of interest, a process, a what months long process where people can uh, uh, actually apply to the Formula One team instead of just the, the ah, <laughs> ah, just ask us I don't know <laughs> but uh, uh, there was an update out on the 5th uh, Andretti is teaming up with Cadillac General Motors with their Cadillac brand to uh, to team up to to a launch. Here, here's what they say. Uh, Andretti Autosport is thrilled to support the news of Andretti Global and General Motors with Cadillac, two American powerhouses coming together to pursue the opportunity to compete in the FIA Formula One World Championship. Uh, this is this is interesting. This is definitely a way for Andretti to get in. And honestly, if you are an Andretti booster, this this is the this was the last the last missing of the recipe was having at least in a promotional sense a a mark a car uh a brand you know and, ca and not that not like general motors and cadillac aren't in motorsport in their own ways they are um but they're not an f1 and uh, uh so the the idea is if uh if andretti get in before 2026 when the new <clears throat> 2026 the new uh when the new engine regulations come in that they'll buy or they have a plan to buy engines from Renault, uh, which they probably can get for pretty cheap uh, given their, their status. And then, uh, oh, I like this. No, uh, oh, yes, it's, it's spelled like Renault. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
And uh, so, so right now we'll give them, we'll, we'll probably give them an engine. And then that is plenty of time, I would imagine, for Cadillac to make an engine. We we don't we don't know exactly for sure who, what 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 folks are are tied to it other than the Andretti bloodline. Uh, but this will be interesting. And and there was there was a lot of hubbub because I, I think that there are a lot of teams and a lot of groups um, outside. Ooh, this is not this is this is big pop music. Um, yeah, because it's copyright. And also, it's yeah. And also, it's just a sad song. It was a sad song. Um, but but there was some hubbub because other other folks who want other teams to join F1 were said, well, hey, like, I want Toyota to come in here. I want uh, I want all these other teams to join in. Um, and they're working behind the scenes. They're working quietly. But if I'm Andretti and. <laughs> I'm trying to break into the very politi politicized, politicking world of F1. Then, yeah, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use all the teams. How many F1 teams are there allowed to be? Uh, well, there are ten right now. I don't think that there's an an upper limit on number of teams. <laughs> but there is an upper limit on money on planet Earth, <laughs> which it I assume it costs a lot of money and it costs need a lot of sponsors. In fact, one of the one of the things that they did in their latest agreement a few years ago was say like, hey, if you're going to add a new team, that new team needs to pay two hundred million dollars flat uh, to all of the other teams uh, as an anti dilution fund, basically. If we go from 10 slices of pie to 11, you need to pay us <laughs> so that we, we still get some of our some of our cookies. Um, uh, is I, I would Im I have to imagine that there's a bunch of washout teams where like they lose funding and, and they just can't afford to continue to race cars in a circle. There there uh, I, I want to say the last time there were new teams was 2015 or 2016 or so. And then since then, it's been really solid with 10. And there have been people who come in and buy um underperforming teams or, or uh, venture capitalists, sports venture capital comes in or just other brands come in to sponsor or buy out teams. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess it's like, uh, it's got to be like the NFL where it's like if demand is high enough, I'm sure they would invent new teams. And, I mean, it, it, well, was it the Texans a new team? after Because the, the Titans, Tennessee bought the Oilers and then Houston was without a team and then a new team. And then they, I don't think they had to retire another team in order to make that happen, right? Right. I... I um, I, I don't know that ex exactly, but yeah, it, I think that's what they want to do with F1 is to have it be a franchise system. So the bioethicist is letting us know Haas F1 joined in 2014. They were the last team to join. And they are not doing solid right now. There's, you, you could, uh, but, but the thing is Haas is also like a mo motorsport uh, name, you know? Um, so Andretti could not come in and buy Haas, or it would be very weird for Andretti which is a motorsport team, but doesn't make cars to buy another motorsport team that doesn't make cars. Uh, oh, I, I wasn't here for the beginning part. I guess Mario Andretti or, or one of the Andretti. Is it Mario Andretti? Uh, uh, his son. Okay, but somebody of Andretti, of House Andretti, wants, wants in on the, the, f the, f the phone. The, 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 there's no S because there's only one F. It's F1. That's right. That's right. There's only one F in F1. There's only one F, that's, folks. Welcome to Wisdom Bits. <laughs> <laughs> but no, they want to join with Cadillac. Um, to join the F1 brand. How do you feel about Cadillac? Uh, well, you, you've heard me do my branding spiel on Cadillac as a curious brand because it was built on exclusivity. It was like the Rolex of cars, and then they started making them cheap, and now nobody... I, I can't tell you what a Cadillac means. It's, it's a cheap, expensive, big, small, fast, slow car. Did you and, know... Did, did, here's something I didn't realize. So Cadillac is under GM. GM is still the largest American car manufacturer. Yes. Um, I did not realize that. And, uh, and also, the other big thing about GM is that they only have, like, I want to say four car brands. They don't have a ton of car brands like a lot of the other marks do. Oh, no, no, no. I thought, I thought that uh, I thought GM had Ford, and um, I think Jeep is a GM uh, vehicle now. Um, uh, I... Uh, or, or was it was it Chrysler? There was one you're of them that, a Chrysler, I think. There, there's there's one of them that bought uh, um, uh, American Motors, which is the the owner of the Jeep brand, uh, and they 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 put the Chrysler used to be a yeah. car, I think. Uh, yeah, that is Chrysler. Chrysler. Chrysler was the type of car, and they graduated it to being the name of the brand. Uh, mm -hmm. When they should have done the reverse, they had American Motors, which is a cool rad name that says has the word American in it and means jeeps and then they didn't use that instead that was weird yeah uh no that was chrysler that bought, bought okay. them out um but no gm gm only has chrysler 
<laughs> Cadillac, Chevrolet, and GMC. They only I'm have the Chrysler. <laughs> I'm stumbling your crown of thorns. <laughs> Jesus me this. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. All right, well, that'll do it for Fast Car Talk. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, one more time, support us in all of this, whatever this might be, over at patreon.com slash great night. There you can support us, get access to the Bones podcast, which is so good. It's so good. And uh, all the other stuff. All right. Guys, I'm sorry. It's okay. Sorry. I just you know what? I when fucked you, it all up. When you play with the devil, you're going to get burnt. Yeah. All right, let's get ready for the show here. I'm let's... the devil. <laughs> no, Brian's the devil. No, uh, JK, JK. Uh, oh, there's Brett coming in. All right, let's see how everyone is. No, Brian is the devil, and you know you're in hell because you get an email saying, shit, was I supposed to start hell? <laughs> <laughs> I hope you weren't expecting hell. We were talking about hell. And, uh, I, mean, I didn't know where we landed on hell. All right, let's do our Checks. All right. Justin, are you good? Yeah, yeah. Brian. Jeff. Annalisa. The chat room and Brett Weaver. The chat room's doing great. And also, hello, friend. Hello, friend. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for joining us here in the Great Night Program. We're going to get started in just a second. Brett, I'm going to count you in. All righty. In. 